But now for the best bit, the rear window. Hey guys, well after five months of prep, I thought it was gonna be four days. It turned into five months of evenings, blood, sweat and tears, putting so much into it. Just got back from Silverstone at the F1 this weekend, which was absolutely brilliant, really enjoyed it. Whilst I was away, I got some pictures through from Kev, who's one of the head sprayers here at Autostyle. And this is it, check this out. The T4 is now painted, the shell is done, and it looks absolutely stunning. My Audi A5 Cabriolet outside is black. Most of my cars that I've had in my time, my GTO, my Merc AMG, they've all been black. This T4 came up in white and I was like, well, eventually I want to get it painted. Prepping the interior with a bit of help from Lex, the missus, drilling the holes in. It's incredible how long this work actually takes. But as you can appreciate, it looks epic. Gonna start putting stuff back in now. And uh, obviously if any of you see me down in Cornwall and you want to go out for a spin and jump in for five minutes, feel free. So I'm gonna stop yapping and I'm gonna start putting bits back in. Right then, nice bit of progress. Seats are back in. Just getting the harnesses and everything set up. This side's done now. CA shifter's bolted down now. I've actually put all of the bolts down. So it's nice and solid. I absolutely love that shifter. I had a vision with all those O2B failures that I had. I wanted to have a six speed with a CAE. When I originally did the seats, of course, this was done because I knew I was eventually gonna get a CAE shifter after trialing out the uh, floor mount system that I prototyped. It's so cool putting your car, van, whatever you've done, back together after you've painted it and just seeing it all come together like a jigsaw puzzle. You know all the pieces, you know what the picture looks like roughly in your head, but to see it actually happen, I just can't, can't explain to you how rewarding it is. It's so cool. You know, I originally wanted 250 horsepower for a festival van and then obviously that got out of control. And before I knew it, you know, now I'm up to 565. And eventually the plan is to go to 800, which will just be insane. Now before putting all these little brackets back on, these are all little aluminium ones, so they're all pretty straightforward. Just gonna sandblast them. Gonna clean it up, possibly do it in satin black. That one's all ready to be primed up and painted. And here's the old one in blue. This one's actually off Kev, the guy who's painted my van. This is off of his old one. I've got to pick up the sidebar here that's been done by Jamie at Dutchy Banded Wheels. Uh, not gonna to go too over the top, but little details I've always you know, liked to make an effort on. Uh, so that's done, and now Kev has been busy today priming all of the panels. My front scoop panel here, and also my spoiler. So get it all flattened back. Got all the bits laid out. I'm gonna start blocking it down now with some 320, then 500 it all with the DA. Quite a lot to do, two doors, rear bumper, front panel front bumper and the spoiler, and they've all got to be done tonight, so it looks like I might be in for a late one. <laughs> Here we are, it's quarter to two in the morning. Managed to get a door done, rear bumper, front bumper, and the spoiler inside. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's taken a long time to do that, so I'm gonna lock up and head home and then come back again tomorrow. Okay then, the front panel's done. Now it's just passenger side door. I'm starting to get really excited. And there we go guys, the tailgate is done. The final panel is finished. So that's the end of the prepping stage. Now it's over to our tame sprayer, the Trig. So next time you're gonna see this, it's all gonna be black and it's all gonna be going back on the T4. I can't believe how much work this has been. The amount of time it takes is huge. Uh, massive thanks to the missus for putting up with me and uh, also for the guys here at Autostyle putting up me in the background. It has been six months of at least two or three nights a week but it's been so worth it, I've really enjoyed it. The guys up here are awesome to work with as well. A great company. And just watching some of the projects they're banging out, I can't wait to film these as well. You know, the great thing is, um, these Auto Style boys are building stuff. Most of you guys and my subscribers enjoy builds. So we can put the two together and I can show you all these epic builds coming together. Over to Kev. Next time, we're gonna be putting it all back on. Right guys, just had the call from the guys at Autostyle. The panels are all painted, come and check this out. Kev has absolutely smashed it. So of course, you've all seen the body already in the earlier parts of the video. Still got the spoiler and the front panel to do, but check this out. Kev has absolutely smashed it. Well done, mate, love it. Cheers, mate. Oh, stunning, look at the reflection in there. Unbelievable. Just picked up the sliding rail powder coated by Jamie, a Dutchy banded wheels, and this looks absolutely epic against the black bodywork. I just wanted to have it as black as possible. Look at that, that looks absolutely mint. The guys are gonna hang all the doors, get the tailgate on, uh, the glass is going back in next week, so now it's just a case of getting everything back together. I can't tell you guys how buzzing I am. This is like a massive part seeing all these bits here now. So um, I hope you've enjoyed watching it so far, and shortly we'll get to see what it's gonna look like all back together. Look at the speed holes.
the rear grab handle for the tailgate i could put some filler in there and smooth it off but i thought no let's do something a bit different here while i'm at it before i get it painted this is the best time to do all the little bits and pieces i'm going to mark out some points on here just like the front slam panel so that it matches and it just fits in with the theme on the van with all the holes drilled out i know it's only little details it makes no difference to the weight Look a lot more in keeping with the style i'm going for for the van there's a lot of you that saw i had help from leo drilling the last set of holes in the garden on the front panel you did a great job didn't you little man high five now it's time for us to mark out the grab handle panels here it's time for you to start putting some crosses on for us to drill out in a second okay black badge from cali campers just to finish off the rear end now in order to keep things as race van as possible racing wing mirror carbon fiber i saw that and obviously i had to have it as you can imagine I've had these for about a year. Didn't want to put them on yet. Look at this. How stunning is that? A carbon fibre mirror. Super lightweight. And of course, will cut through the air perfectly. Easily adding about three or four miles an hour to the top speed. They're like straight off wish.com, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I think I just look fat in it, that's all. Yeah, well, mate, honestly, <laughs> I look fat in everything. Just join a position where it's going to sit on the pillar there before I put the carbon fibre sheet over and then rivet nut in where it's going to go. See, so I'd say that looks pretty good there, and then you can tilt the mirror out. It looks like it's in the right spot. This fan is going to slip through the air now. Perfect, mate. That's exactly where I want it. Right, guys, this is really exciting. Tailgate's on. The rams are on, this now goes up and down like it should do. Really chuffed for that. These are gonna come off eventually. I'm gonna get some clips and I'm gonna put just a carbon rod in here and do away with these. So in keeping with the lightweight theme on the tailgate, I've got this. And uh, massive shout out to Dan at ACW Plastics. I actually met Dan on the way up to Silverstone uh, for the Formula One. This is a four millimeter thermoformed rear window. It just means that rather than cutting it and having something flopping around, it's actually the shape of the glass that fits on a T4 anyway. Uh, Dan's keen to work with me. If anyone wants one, just give me a shout and I can get one made up in the same spec for you because they've still got the mold so it's just a case now of just repeating it you can get a hardened one so it's a lot harder for someone to break into a hardened polycarbonate window than it is just to ping the rear glass so let's get it out of the box right, guys it's got the protective film on but it looks absolutely epic okay quick job while i'm putting the sliding rail on i'm going to space it off ever so slightly just the maximum amount of threads will allow because it catches by probably about two or three millimeters on this lip here but there you go looking at that nut you can see there's a little bit of distance there five millimeters so i'm going to go five mil at the back once i've got that one in i'll be able to then measure that depth there as well just to make sure i get everything even there we go the rails on you can just see a little bit of a gap over the back where the spacer is nice and neat and tidy unless you look really close you wouldn't know which is great Right guys, it's a beautiful August day. The sun is absolutely stunning, but more importantly, the glass is back in the T4. Absolutely stunning. This screen's been in and out three times now. The last time I tried to do mine rust protection, it uh, started to brown spot about four weeks later because I used Halford's rattle can stuff. Lesson learned, I haven't wiped it all off just for this little video part here. I'm gonna actually rinse it off properly and give it its first proper deep wax, uh, protect the paint before I take it out onto the road. This is actually way more exciting than pulling that screen protector off your iPhone for the first time. That looks awesome. And this side. There we go. And now for the best bit, the rear window. That is mint. <laughs> 